how are you folks? Jason Horwitz with you on the Professional Grade Players presented by GMC. In case you haven't been with us this season, it's a little different from last year. We're not breaking down the best players per se from the weekend overall, but we are breaking down some of the top professional grade performances. Three categories. Guys you expected to do well and did. Those who you hoped would be successful based on matchups. And then guys that came out of nowhere. And we'll start with the one that at the beginning of the season would have been a hopeful based on the fact you didn't know what you'd get out of him, but now each week has to be an expected, especially when he goes up against what is now the worst pass defense in the NFL after three weeks. Randy Moss, another big day. Five catches for 115 yards and his second week out of three with a pair of touchdowns. Moss has recorded 100-yard games in each of his first three with the Pats, has five touchdowns, and leads all receivers in fantasy points in the standard scoring league. How about Kevin Curtis? And he also represents Donovan McNabb in this situation. This falls under the hopeful category just because they hadn't done it yet this season. But up against the still questionable Lions defense, you could have hoped for good numbers for Curtis. He way exceeded expectations, though. Most fantasy points by a receiver in Week 3. He caught three of McNabb's four touchdown passes. Curtis previously had just 100-yard receiving game in 53, let alone a 200-yard game with three scores. A couple of running backs with enormous days, and both were in the hopeful category based on matchups as well. Jets' rush defense has been better, but always suspect. So Ronnie Brown was a good start, but hadn't done that much this season. That out the window after 211 total yards and three total touchdowns. Meanwhile, Deshaun Foster up against the Falcons, who were giving up 125 yards a game on the ground. He nearly got that himself, plus a touchdown. But why he's only in the hopeful category, just because it's only his second 100-yard day in the Panthers' last 14 games. As for the where'd that come from, there's two starting the same game. How about Roddy White? Former first-round pick with seven catches for 127 yards and a touchdown. That after not having a score in any single Falcons game in 2006. He's emerging as Joey Harrington's go-to guy, who, by the way, also could have fallen into this category. But when a backup quarterback comes into a game against the Ravens defense and does what Kurt Warner did, he certainly fits the role. Forget the fact he almost led the Cardinals to a victory. He put up some fantasy numbers for a guy not owned in one CBSSports.com league. But he threw for 258 yards, two scores, most of those numbers in the fourth quarter alone. He's a 10th-ranked fantasy QB by points in Week 3, looking like the former MVP. So that does it for Week 3 of the Professional Grade Players presented by GMC. But for all your fantasy information, including the best matchups heading into Week 4, be sure to read Jamie Eisenberg and Dave Richard only here on CBSSports.com. I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.